Tig here again. In today's video, I'm responding to a subscriber request on the channel and checking which humanizer, if any, can bypass copy leaks. Copy leaks is generally regarded as one of the most accurate AI detectors on the planet, and it was the best performer in a recent Battle of the AI Detectors video that I created. Linked on screen now. We're going to test one essay written by a chatbot and five humanized versions of the same essay created by Undetectable AI, Zero Essay, GPT Human, Clever Spinner, and Rhyme against all three levels of sensitivity with the Copy Leaks AI detector. Is this AI detector beatable? Can we get a 0% AI score with our humanized writing? You'll find out soon. But first, if you have any questions relating to AI in higher education, or you have a tool that you'd like me to test, please let me know in the comments. I'm going to say it. This is the only channel that students can trust on YouTube when it comes to discussing AI in higher education. I show the Turnitin interface, unlike some, provide authoritative and credible insights from the perspective of university staff, unlike some, and none of my videos has ever had or ever will have an affiliate link beneath it, unlike some. I'm not out to trick students by recommending low quality tools. I know what I'm talking about as an experienced assistant professor at a university in the UK, and I want to help you. If you want to help me and this channel, please like this video, hit subscribe to help this little channel grow, and I'd appreciate you even more if you shared this or any other video on the channel with someone who you think it could help or inform. Now, on with the show. The first thing that we're going to do is ask Claude to write a 1,500 word essay on whether it is possible for AI humanizers to get a 0% AI score with copy leaks. Yes, it's a boring topic, but we don't really care about the substance of the text. We just want to humanize it and see what happens. Does it beat copy leaks and is it readable and coherent? We'll then humanize the essay using undetectable AI. We're going to use the university, general writing, and more human settings. Ooh, apparently this humanized text can bypass copy leaks. I'll believe it when I see it. Next, we're humanizing the essay using zero essay. This can also apparently bypass copy leaks. Again, I'll believe it when I see it. With GPT Human, we're going to humanize the essay with the college and balanced settings. Then we're humanizing the essay with Clever Spinner and it's supposedly 0.0% likely AI. I'm skeptical, but Clever Spinner performed really well in a previous video. We would have humanized the essay with Walter Wrights here, but those sulky babies took away my free access because I told the truth and said that they were overrated in one of my recent videos. No need to take the hump with me, Walter Wrights. If you hadn't revoked my access, this video would have publicized your tool and helped viewers learn more about its capabilities. If you change your mind, let me know, and I'll include your popular tool in future videos again. Finally, Rhyme, which is generally performed the best in tests against AI detectors while retaining high quality and coherent writing. We're just going to use the general and general settings with their humanizer. And now we've got the Claude version of the essay and five humanized versions of the same essay created by Undetectable AI, Zero Essay, GPT Human, Clever Spinner, and Rhyme. Let's run each of these through copy leaks to see if any of them are undetectable. Thank you to copy leaks for giving me 1000 credits to make this video. We'll see if this AI detector is all it's hyped up to be over the course of this video. We're first going to test these documents with the lowest setting on copy leaks, level one. This is appropriate for detecting content that was directly copied from a chatbot without any edits. For the Claude essay, we get a score of 100% likely AI. For the undetectable AI version, we get a score of 83.1% likely AI. Oddly specific, but okay. For the zero essay version, we get a score of 100% likely AI. For the GPT human version, we get a score of 0% likely AI. A perfect score and very impressive. For the Clever Spinner version, we get a 74% likely AI score. What will we get with the Rhine version? This is a tool that I often recommend. And it's a very bad 100% likely AI score. 
GPT Human performed the best in round 1. But now we're on to round 2 of testing. This time we're going to use level 2 sensitivity. This is most appropriate for testing content created by a chatbot, but minor changes have been added. I don't know why I'm wasting our time and my credits, but with the level 2 sensitivity, the Claude essay gets a 100% likely AI score. The undetectable AI version gets an 83.1% likely AI score again. The zero essay version gets a 100% likely AI score again. The GPT human version gets a 0% likely AI score again. The Clever Spinner version gets a 74% likely AI score again. And the Ryan Humanized version gets a 100% likely AI score again. So, all the results were the same on sensitivity level 1 and 2. What will happen when we get out the big guns and test these documents using the most sensitive level 3 sensitivity? This is appropriate for text from a chatbot that has been heavily modified using bypass tools or manual edits. Will any of these humanizers be effective here? Here we go. Why am I being so wasteful with these credits? I'm a fool testing the Claude version of the essay, which very predictably gets a 100% likely AI score. The undetectable AI version gets a 100% likely AI score. The zero essay version gets a 100% likely AI score. The GPT human version gets a 100% likely AI score. Wow, it's gone from a 0% likely AI score to completely AI score. What about Clever Spinner? It gets a 100% likely AI score. And finally, the Rhine version of the essay gets a 100% likely AI score. So every version of the essay got a 100% likely AI score with the level 3 sensitivity setting. If you were screaming at your computer or phone that it's probably all false positives, I'm one step ahead of you. I'm doing an extra test now of a conference paper that I wrote in 2018, before Gen AI and AI humanizers were available to students and researchers, and which parts of were previously flagged as likely AI by Turnitin and Originality. What will CopyLeaks Level 3 make of this one? It's a 0% likely AI score. Wow, I'm very impressed with CopyLeaks. But what's the quality of the writing like with these essays? What would lecturers, professors, or markers think of them? Also, what do you make of them? In response to a request from a subscriber and one of the best commenters on the channel, I'm now sharing all the documents that I create and test in my videos. You can access them through the link in the description. It will bring you to some folders where you can access and review anything that I test. I hope you think this change is useful and interesting. I'm always trying to keep things as transparent as possible on this channel and I'm receptive to any ideas or suggestions from my brilliant audience. The Claude version of the essay is significantly shorter than the 1,500 words that we requested. It's only 785 words. It's okay, it makes a few decent points and reads relatively well. The undetectable AI version has a lot of missing spaces, missing punctuation or inappropriate punctuation, line breaks in inappropriate places where sentences aren't completed or are continued on another line, and spelling errors. It's not great, no student making even a small effort with their work would submit something that looks so careless and badly presented. What's worse is that these so-called human mistakes that it added didn't bypass copy leaks a single time. The Zero Essay version actually reads very well. It is clear and close to the meaning of the original Claude essay. There were a couple of quote-unquote typographical errors and additional spaces before the start of paragraphs and section headings. But it's decent stuff. Maybe its coherence is why it got a 100% likely AI score every time. I'm really impressed by the GPT human version of the essay. Not only did it get 0% scores with level 1 and level 2 sensitivity with copy leaks, it reads very well and is very similar in meaning to the original Claude version. Sure, there are a couple of odd word choices, placement of words in the original with not totally identical synonyms, but it's nothing too crazy and totally credible as a poor choice of words by a student, perhaps an international student, studying in English when it is their second language. The Clever Spinner version reads relatively well, but the formatting is awful and gives you a headache. Words randomly break and continue on another line. The font size is inconsistent. 
Not all the synonyms that it uses to replace words in the original totally capture the same meaning either. In terms of coherence, it's okay. In terms of presentation, it's very poor and sloppy looking. Educators would expect far more from students with regard to their attention to detail in the presentation. Finally, the Rhine version of the essay is up to Rhine's usual high standards. It's clear, it has some mistakes like capitalizing copy leaks, a proper noun, in different ways, there are a few strange choices of replacement synonyms for words, and a couple of instances of issues with punctuation. But overall, it's very good and totally coherent and passable as a student's work. Similar to Zero Essay, maybe that's why it got a 100% likely AI score with every copy leaks setting. What can we learn from all of that? Undetectable AI are liars. They said that their humanized text could bypass copy leaks. What are they basing this information on? It didn't bypass any level of sensitivity from copy leaks, where its lowest score was 83.1% likely AI. The same goes for Zero Essay. They're liars too, claiming that their humanized text can bypass AI detectors like copy leaks. Ryan is not so great when it comes up against powerful AI detectors like copy leaks. Their human text got AI scores with every single test. It also seems like we have a new champion when it comes to bypassing AI detection with coherent writing. GPT Human got a 0% likely AI score with both level 1 and level 2 sensitivity. That's really impressive considering that the text GPT Human produced was really good. Every version of the essay got a 100% likely AI score with copy leaks level 3 sensitivity. And some real human writing got a 0% likely AI score. This really illustrates the efficacy of this AI detector. Just for fun, I wonder what AI scores Turnitin would give these essays. The original Claude essay gets a 100% likely AI score. Typical when using a popular chatbot with a simple prompt like we did. Undetectable AI gets a 0% likely AI score. Very good. Does this mean every half-decent humanizer can beat Turnitin? Zero Essay gets a 0% likely AI score. GPT Human gets a score of unspecified. The score is somewhere between 1 and 19% likely AI, but Turnitin are too worried about false positives or erroneously flagging human text as AI that they won't provide either an AI score or indicate which parts of the text were flagged. Clever Spinner gets a 0% likely AI score. Ryan gets a 0% likely AI score. That means that four of our five AI humanizers got perfect Turnitin AI detector scores. Now I know Turnitin AI detector scores cannot be used as evidence when making accusations of academic misconduct against students and should just be used to start a conversation. But why are universities stuck with such a poor AI detector? It's not right. Considering the importance of academic integrity and detecting the misuse of AI, why are most universities and higher education institutions stuck with what is quite frankly a bad and unreliable AI detector. Conversations about academic integrity are definitely not being started as more and more students use humanizers, spinners, or other undetectable tools to conceal their use of AI. I saw a statistic that 98% of universities in the UK use Turnitin. Why can't we have the CopyLeaks AI detector, or one that is more useful and accurate? I got a hot tip from a subscriber to the channel who informed me of Citizens High School in Florida who were using copy leaks to detect plagiarism and the misuse of AI in students' submissions. While this seems like the perfect solution, there are comments on this organization's Glossdoor page that lament that far too much weight is given to the copy leak score, where it appears to be taken as infallible and totally accurate. Anyway, in conclusion, CopyLeaks was rock solid in this limited test. None of the AI humanizers that I used could bypass CopyLeaks level 3 sensitivity. But this is a cat and mouse game where the humanizers improve and CopyLeaks responds and the cycle continues. I'm not the biggest fan of AI detectors. I don't think that AI detection is an accurate science, but I'd much rather have access to one that is more accurate than what Turnitin offers its customers. If you made it to the end, if you have any suggestions or tools, 
that you think I should test against copy leaks, let me know in the comments. If you want to see other tests or have any ideas that you want to share, also let me know in the comments. If you're an educator who uses copy leaks at your institution, I would love to hear from you. If you're an educator who has a strong opinion on Turnitin's AI detector, I would also love to hear what you think. Finally, thank you to the 1,200 subscribers to this channel for your support. To you, watching right now. If you liked this video and you want to help this little channel grow further, please lend me a like and subscribe, and share this video with someone who you think would find it interesting. Thank you, and bye!